Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. Today in this video, we are going to see how to automate contract generation using Google Sheets and Google Docs. So here my objective is that whenever employee details are added into my Google Sheets, then automatically employee contract would be generated in my Google Docs. And that employee contract which is generated in Google Docs, I want to upload a file in my Google Drive. For that, I'm simply going to create a connection between Google Sheets, Google Docs and Google Drive. Pabli Connect works on two principles, first is trigger and second is action. Here my trigger application is Google Sheets and my action applications are Google Docs and Google Drive. To learn how to do this, let me take you to my screen. In this video, we are going to see how we can create employee contract by using Google Sheets and Google Docs. So as a HR, I usually face difficulty in creating and generating employee contract manually. But now for creating and generating employee contracts, I use Pabli Connect. And with the help of Pabli Connect, we just need to build a simple connection between Google Sheets, Google Drive and Google Docs. So here in my Google Sheets, I have entered all the employee details which was needed. Date, employee name, employee email, employee mobile number, start date, end date, city, state, job title, annual CTC, everything. And this is the employee contract which I have created. And I want that whenever I add a new employee details over here in my Google Sheets, this employee contract would be sent to that particular employee. And the details which I have added here in the curly brackets would also be changed as the employee details. And now to begin with the process, we are first going to search for pabli.com slash connect. So as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On my right hand side, you can see two options over here, sign in and sign up free. If you are an existing user, then simply click on sign in. But if you are a new user, then please click on this tab sign up free. It won't take more than two minutes. And yes, you will also get 100 free tasks every month. So I'm simply going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user. And here we have reached all Pabli application page. Now let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. And if you want to create a folder, then simply click on this icon and create a new folder. As I want to create a new folder for my new workflow, so I'm simply going to click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name the folder. So I'm going to name my folder as... After that, let's click on create. And as you can see over here, we have successfully created a folder named as employee contract. Again, on my right hand side, you can see a tab named as create workflow. Let's click on this. And again, a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name the workflow. So I am going to name my workflow as create employment contracts, automate contract generation. Now let's click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window, which has got us to extremely important events. First is trigger and second is action. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically, action here is the response of a trigger application. Now, my trigger application is going to be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And now we have to select a trigger event. This is the event which will make your workflow start. Let's click on this. And here you will find new or updated spreadsheet row. And it says triggers when a new row is added or updated in a spreadsheet. So I'm going to select this. And as you can see over here, Public Connect has provided us a webhook URL which will act as a bridge between Google Sheets and Public Connect. And given below here are the steps to connect this webhook URL. So I'm first going to copy this webhook URL from here. And the first point says login into the Google Sheets account. So let me take you to my Google Sheets account as I've already logged in into that and I've entered all the details of my employee over here. Now go to extensions in your Google Sheets account. And after that, go to add-ons and click on get add-ons and here search for Pabli connect webhooks and install this as I've already installed this after installing this Pabli connect webhook go back to extensions and you will find your Pabli connect webhooks and then go to initial setup and it says you can get the webhook URL from Pabli connect workflow so as we have already copied the webhook URL from Pabli connect I'm simply going to paste it over here and now we have to enter the trigger column and it says the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row will be sent to the webhook URL. So my trigger column is column J. After that, click on send test. And it says test data sent successfully. After that, click on submit. And now it says setup configured successfully. Now let's go back to our Public Connect account. And as you can see over here, we have successfully received our response with all the details. My trigger column is column J. The end column of my Google Sheet is column J. Here my trigger column is column J. Spreadsheet name is employee details. And as you can see, I have received 
all the data successfully which i have entered in my google sheets which means we have successfully set up our trigger application now my action application is going to be google docs let's click on this and after that we need to select an action event let's click on this and here you will find various action events but i'm simply going to select create document from template after that click on connect and now to connect our google docs account with our public connect account we need to set up a connection for that i'm simply going to select add new connection but if you have an existing connection please select existing connection after that click on sign in with google and select your account and allow all the authentications we have successfully connected our google docs account with our public connect account now let's move ahead we have to select template document here which is required and it says choose or map your template document from here please ensure that at least one tag like name is present in the document to make this action work let's click on this so i have named my template document as employee contract so i'm going to select employee contract over here now after selecting template document and here we have to enter the new document's name so i am going to enter the document's name as so i'm firstly going to enter the employee name over here and then i'm adding employment contract so i have mapped this employee name over here so that it will keep changing whenever this document would be sent to another employee and after that we have to select new documents location so i want my document location as employee contract i have created two folders over here one for employee contract and one says employee contract pdfs so in this folder i want to save the pdf files and in this folder i want to save the word documents and the google documents everything right now i want my document location to be employee contract so now we have to enter all the details which we have here in our google sheets and for that i'm going to use the method called as mapping basically mapping means to insert the data from the previous steps and whatever the details we are going to map it will get replaced when our automation will work in real time so i'm going to map all these details from the google sheet response so the date is 21st march 2024 the employee name is demo user the city is bhopal and the state is madhya pradesh job title is business development manager annual ctc would be 3 lakh start date is 1st april 2024 and the end date would be 1st october 2024 and now let's click on save and send test request and as you can see we have received a positive response over here so let's go to our folder which i have created in google drive account and check whether all the details which i have mapped here in my public connect account have been replaced or not so in my public connect i have give the location of employee contract so let's click on this and as you can see over here the name of document have been changed with demo user employment contract which i have added here demo user employment contract let's click on this and open this document and as you can see over here the variable have been changed with the details i have mapped in my public connect account this was the employee contract document which i have created and this is the demo user employment contract which i have generated employee name city state have been changed the start date is 1st april 2024 and the end date is 1st october 2024 now let's go back to our public connect account now by clicking on this plus icon i'm going to add an action step as i want to save a pdf file in my employee contract pdf folder so my next action step would be google drive let's click on this and here we have to select an action event let's click on this so i'm going to select my action event as share a file with anyone after that click on connect and now to connect a google drive account with our public connect account we need to set up a connection for that i'm simply going to select add new connection but if you have an existing connection please select existing connection after that click on sign in with google and then select your account and allow all the authentications and we have successfully connected our google drive account with our public connect account now here we have to map our file id and it says you can choose or map file from google drive for example this and now to select my file id i am simply going to enable mapping and after that we can choose our file id from the previous step which was google docs and this is the document id after that click on save and send test request and as you can see over here we have received a positive response and here we have received a link for pdf file now to save a pdf file i'm going to add another action step which would be google drive again let's click on this now let's select our action event now my next action event would be upload a file let's click on this 
and after that click on connect and I'm going to select add new connection again but if you want to select existing connection you can do that after that click on sign in with Google and repeat the same process again and we have again connected our Google Drive account with our Pabli Connect account. Now here we have to enter URL folder ID in the file name. And for the URL it says enter the public file URL to be uploaded maximum file size is 50 MB here. Supported file format are listed below. If you want to see the supported file formats then click on this learn more. So let's click on this. And if you remember we have received a link URL for PDF file in our Google Drive responses which was this. So I'm simply going to map that URL from the previous step here. So I'm simply going to map that link URL for PDF file from Google Drive. And this is the PDF file link URL. So I'm going to select this as I want to save a PDF only. Now let's move ahead. We have to enter the folder ID here and it says enter the folder ID here. You can get the ID from the Google Drive folder URL. For example, this. So let's go to our Google Drive folder and this is the folder which I have created for the PDF files and here you will find the folder ID this is the folder ID let's copy this from here and now moving ahead on the file name we have to enter the file name over here so I'm simply going to select the first name of the employee I have mapped the employee name over here and I have entered employment contract PDFs and after that let's click on save and send test request and as you can see over here we have received our response and it says Result status is success. Now let's go to our Google Drive and check whether we have added a PDF file in our folder or not. And as you can see over here, we have successfully added a PDF file in our folder. Let's click on this. And this is the PDF file of employee contract with the name demo user. Now let's go back to our Google Sheets. Now to check this automation in real time, I am going to enter another employee details over here. So as you can see over here, I have added another employee details. And now let's go to our Google Drive account and check whether we have added another PDF file or not. And as you can see over here, we have uploaded another PDF file in our folder with the name Smart User. So now let's go back to our Public Connect account. So we have set up our trigger and action application successfully and it was a successful workflow. So let's summarize this quickly. Here my trigger application is Google Sheets and my trigger event is new or updated spreadsheet row. Here my action application is Google Docs and my action event is create document from template. Here my another action application is Google Drive and here my action event is share a file with anyone. And at the end my action application is Google Drive and here my action event is upload a file. Hope this video was a helpful one. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, but you can also integrate many other applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, please reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any queries, please reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, please reach out to us at this website. If you find this video helpful in any way, please do not forget to share this video with your friends. And also please like our video and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automations.